Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Awata HPCS Awata Eclipse Airbrush. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to the guys over at graphicair.co.uk who sent me the airbrush out for review. If you check the description box down below, you'll find a direct link to Graphic Air's web store and you can go and check them out for yourselves. Okay guys, so let's take a look around the box first of all. So as we have a look around uh, the box, on this side we can see that it's showing you different applications for the airbrush. Uh, so we can see we've got fine art application here, we've got body art application, FX, automotive, and we've also got what I'm particularly interested in, which is scale model painting. As we turn the box around to the other side, we can see something that's very important to this box. It's a holographic sticker, if my camera's uh, able to pick it up. Um, what this is important to show is that this is a genuine Awata product and I always recommend that you get your Awata products from a reputable seller like graphicair.co.uk to make sure you're getting a genuine Awata product. Um, on the back of the box we have a little bit of information about the Awata Eclipse. Uh, it's got a, a 10cc um, uh, uh, cup. It's got a 0.35mm needle nozzle set uh, and then it says on 0.8 it's a gravity feed dual action airbrush. Uh, B it has the cutaway handle and C it includes some uh, Awata Medea uh, super lube which is brilliant for keeping the trigger action nice and ultra smooth. Okay so what we're going to do now guys is take a look inside the box. As we open the box, we can see that we've got another little guide on how to get started with your Gravity Feed airbrush. So it's a quick start guide there. Okay, so inside the box we've got the Super Lube, which I mentioned early on in the video, which is absolutely perfect for keeping the trigger mechanism of your airbrush lubricated. We have a spanner to take off the nozzle cap. And we have our beautiful Awata Eclipse airbrush. And as you can see, it's embossed with Awata Eclipse, Eclipse I should say, HPCS uh, Japan. And it looks absolutely lovely. And on the other side, it says Aness Awata. Okay, what we're going to do now, guys, is go over some of the key features of this airbrush. Okay guys, so some of the key features of this airbrush is that it's got a 0.35 needle nozzle set. That's absolutely fantastic for a multitude of tasks. It's going to be brilliant for heavier viscosity type paints uh, because it has the 0.35 needle nozzle set and it's also going to be good for medium to small spray patterns as well. Now I use this airbrush for scale model painting and I've used an Awata Eclipse for some time and it's absolutely fantastic in the hobby that I do for base coating miniatures, for varnishing miniatures and also for fine details. So I find this to be an absolutely fantastic all round airbrush. It has an ultra smooth dual action trigger mechanism. As you can see, if I press it down that would be to release air and as I pull back, it will be to release paint as well. It has a cutout preset handle at the back, and this is good because you can actually pull back on the needle, and when you're flushing paint and you want to do it really quick, you can do it like so. Or if you've got a little obstruction or a tiny blockage of paint, you can pull this back a few times, and sometimes it helps to free up little debris in the airbrush um, uh, cup there that helps you get back to airbrushing nice and quickly. It also has a large airbrush cup and I just take the lid off and these lids fit absolutely perfect, really tight. What you'll find on cheap unbranded airbrushes is that the lids just don't sit on quite right whereas with a quality airbrush like a water, they sit and fit on absolutely perfect. 
What we're going to do now guys is just take the airbrush apart a little and talk to you a, a, a little bit about that as well. I'm going to show you another great feature of this airbrush. As I actually take off the nozzle, this will show us the fluid nozzle which I just popped out there like so. And as you can see, it's quite large, which is absolutely fantastic, meaning you're not going to lose it like some of the tiny, ultra uh, small uh, tips that you get on most types of airbrush. Also, it gives great cleaning uh, ability um, at the head of the airbrush there, so we can easily get some pipe cleaners uh, down there and clean out the head of the airbrush. Um, so it's an absolutely fantastic design of airbrush for the absolute beginner uh, as you're easily able to clean this airbrush and take it apart uh, without risk of damaging the delicate parts of the airbrush. Now I'm going to hook the airbrush up to a compressor and we're going to do some little spray tests just to see what type of patterns we can get out of this airbrush. Okay, I've placed some paint in the airbrush cup. I've been using Games Workshop paints and I thinned them uh, just with some regular water. And now we're going to do some tests on paper. So first of all, we'll do some wide spray patterns. And as you can see, we're able to get some really wide spray patterns with this airbrush. Now we're going to get some finer detail lines. Okay guys, so we've just done a spray test on some paper to see what the airbrush um, can perform like. And we've seen that it's brilliant at spraying medium to large spray patterns. And also we can get some nice fine detail lines down as well there. Now, this airbrush is absolutely fantastic for the beginner because as I mentioned earlier, it's got a brilliant design of uh, nozzle cap and fluid nozzle where you can easily take the airbrush apart and clean out the parts. And it's really simple to do that. Whereas on some other airbrushes, um, it's a little bit more fiddly uh, to clean your airbrush out. So I, I think this is an absolutely fantastic design on this Awata Eclipse airbrush. Also guys, um, I, use this airbrush for scale model painting. Now, I use it for a multitude of tasks and that can go from uh, base coating a miniature, varnishing a miniature, which takes higher viscosity type of paints uh, because it's got a 0.35 needle nozzle. So it is able to spray slightly heavier paints than some of the smaller needle nozzle sets. But as you can see, I'm still able to get fairly fine details down with this airbrush uh, and that would be for painting lenses and lights and highlighting effects and pre-shading effects on vehicles. So I think this is a wonderful all-round airbrush. It's precision engineered quality from Awata and I highly recommend this airbrush guys as I've owned uh, an Awata Eclipse for two years and I still love it and still use it to this day. Now, if you wanna find out more about the Awata Eclipse airbrush, please check the description box down below and you'll find that direct link to graphicair.co.uk and you can find out more information about this wonderful airbrush. Also guys, I'd really like it if you place the comment in the comments field down below and let others know how good Awata products are. And lastly, thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video.